Welcome to Counselor's Corner. We are talking about coping skills. Someone can trip over their own feet and laugh about it. Another person might trip over their own feet and feel really embarrassed about it. And a third person might trip over their own feet and get mad at the person next to them. And the same thing happens to three different people and they all react in different ways. Why is that? It's because between the event and the reaction, there's a thought. So the thoughts that you are thinking to yourself make a huge effect on the way you're able to cope. A lot of people are talking about resilience and grit. Resilience, something bad happens, but you're able to push through it and keep going and become stronger, which is what most of us want to do in the face of adversary. How does that happen? How can you develop that? start paying attention to the thoughts that you're having about it. Because the things that you think affect the way that you feel. If you think to yourself, I'm so stupid, what's wrong with me? I should have studied, I'm the worst. You're going to feel bad about yourself. The way that you think, the way you talk to yourself, your self-talk, makes a huge impact on, on your resilience. And so an excellent coping skill to start developing is to start um, changing the way you talk to yourself to, in a, so that you're doing talking to yourself in a more kind, positive way. This will help you feel less stressed and less angry when situations happen. Hi, my name is Mr. Spellman. Um, I am a high school math teacher here. Uh, the way that I cope with stress is I just tell myself, forget it. More times than not, whatever issue you're dealing with is not something that is truly life-altering or it's something that's really um, as big of a deal as you're going to be making it. So just tell yourself, forget it, let it roll off your shoulder, and just move on with your day. For me personally, it, I just feel better because once I realize that what I'm dealing with is not as serious of a situation as I was just making it, it allows me to roll on my day and I feel much better about it. What, what kinds of things do you tell yourself? Do you focus on the negative? Do you magnify things? Is a small problem suddenly a big problem? What would be different in your life if you didn't do that anymore or just a few thoughts to think about and this month in this month when we're talking about coping skills i'm miss nolan see you next time